Hello my friends, this is Jeannie. Welcome back. I'm going to share with you a purchase that I made from Tuesday morning. The majority, I would say, hmm, yeah, more than the majority of this purchase is paper pads. Yeah, <laughs> I bought more paper, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Mm, no, not really, but I did it anyway. <laughs> so let me share with you what I picked up. I found um, some of these paper flowers. These are by Little Birdie. These handmade flowers are really cute. They're called Zoe Washed Amore Mia. Hmm. Super pretty. There's the information. They had quite a few others, but this is the one that caught my eye so that's the one I went with they also had more of these handmade flowers by little birdie this one I thought was really cute this set because it came with two butterflies as well and this one is called Arcadia purple passion eight pieces there's the information okay now I did find some Halloween stamps um, the main purpose of my visit was to find more Halloween items and the last time I went to my Tuesday morning they had a really good collection of Halloween items but nothing that I wanted so I went back today to see if anything new came in and boy that Halloween section was cleaned out I actually went to both of my Tuesday mornings I went to the one in um, Green Lawn um, and I also went to the one in Lake Grove, which is a little further out. It's like 30 minutes away. Went to both. And um, I had better luck at the second one, the one that's a little further away. But still, wow. <laughs> but I did manage to find some more stamps. I found this um, Beautiful Night uh, acrylic stamp set, 10 pieces. The pumpkins. It's a happy Halloween. So I recently posted on the community feed, um, resharing my last Tuesday morning haul video and indicating that I feel the spirit of Halloween creeping into my soul. And I also feel a Halloween, um, a countdown to Halloween series coming up. In that post, I ask for any recommendations of projects that you would like to see me see like to see me do <laughs> and so far what I've got is um, one response that says something to the effect of a friend is getting married on Halloween can I make a Halloween wedding card which I thought was an interesting challenge so I accept I will be doing that and someone else posted any project so that was pretty um, wide open so um if you have any suggestions or if there are certain things you'd like me to do halloween themed um definitely leave a comment down below um and um i will try to add you onto my list so let me continue showing you the other stamps that i found i found this one by spellcast also acrylic five piece stamp set here's the information yeah, I really would appreciate if you left some ideas of projects you would like to see me do. Um, here's another one. This one is called After Dark. Uh, oh, I don't know if the stamp set itself is called After Dark or it's just... No, it's a crepe paper stamp and it's called After Dark. There you go. But I love the ghost. I love the pumpkin. Love the boo. Really cute. Here's another one by Spellcast with the moon and the stars I put a spell on you stardust Halloween and I love the font of the Halloween really cute yeah definitely would appreciate some um, suggestions recommendations down below and if I don't get any that's okay too I'll just make my own projects <laughs> I just thought I would take the opportunity to get some input from you guys on what you would like to see me make um, here is a spell binders die set which I absolutely love these are huge and you basically have two feathers here um four dies you have the outline and you also have the um print itself and this is called feathers in the wind absolutely gorgeous so see what you get here you get it so you can cut a solid feather like a silhouette of a feather and you also get the center die so you can cut a more specific detailed cut of that same so you could actually layer them that would be really pretty 
super pretty. I was excited about that. This was absolutely adorable. I had to get this. This is by Darius and it's a kitty cat. Die cut kitties. I love this. So I had to get that. Five pieces. There we go. Here we have the cactus. This is so cute. Cacti. Die cut potted cacti. I love this. Super cute. $3.99. Why not? I found a couple of embossing folders. Oh my god, they had so many embossing folders, but I have enough embossing folders. Um, so I didn't pick up the majority of what they had. I only picked up two. I picked this one up because it had the kitties. I love the kitties. And it was $1.49, so I got that one. And this is by Darius. That's what embosses. And then they had this really pretty house one, which I thought would be great for Christmas cards. Isn't that awesome? Love that. So those are the non-paper items that I purchased. Let me share with you the paper pads. Now, all of the paper pads I picked up are 12 by 12. In my last Tuesday morning haul video, I showed this lost and found collection in the six by six size. I found all five paper pads in the six by six size. This time I went back and I found the same five paper pads, but in the 12 by 12 size. So I picked them up because they are absolutely gorgeous. So this one is the blush collection and um, it's single sided paper. So this is the blush. Really pretty. Look at that. Love the dress form. Very pretty. A lot of these papers are treated. Look at those. Boy, if you have patience, you can fussy cut all of that out, but I don't know that I'm that patient. I might try running it through my scan and cut and see what happens, um, but that's not always a success. <laughs> so that's the blush collection. They also had the Market Street. Here's the Market Street. Here's the information. That's the Market Street. This paper is gorgeous. Now, you, you have to understand why I had to get these. <laughs> and if you don't, that's okay too. You don't need to understand. You really don't. <laughs> you can just sit back and enjoy. <laughs> um, I absolutely love this. I'm so happy that I picked it up. I almost, um, for like a split second, was like, eh, no, just walk away. And then I was like, what are you, crazy? <laughs> I pick them up. I don't think you saw that last page. There you go. So that's okay. Listen, I can complain about all the paper I have and how I have too much paper, but hey, it's my craft room. It's my space. It's It works for me. It's organized the way I like it. Um, I definitely have a lot, but I'll make it work. Uh, <laughs> this is the Ruby collection. And nobody has to deal with it but me. So if it brings joy to my life, then, oh well, I'll pick it up. And when it stops bringing joy to my life, then I give it away. Or maybe I'll buy extra and share the joy. Why not? Why not? I can. So I will. <laughs> Isn't this gorgeous? I mean, I never understood people who feel the need to leave comments. And I've been lucky in that I don't get this a lot on my videos. But when I do, I just delete them and I don't even discuss it. But I don't understand people who feel the need to leave comments on videos. Basically, you know, accusing that person or, you know, of being a hoarder for buying so much or questioning that person's motives or, you know, questioning why do you need this? You don't need this. You need food. You need air. But you don't need all this stuff. You know, mind your business. Okay? Just mind your business. Um, 
different strokes for different folks and you live your life everyone lives their own life and c'est la vie you know no issues no problems it's when you butt your nose into somebody else's business it becomes a problem so um i always get sad when i see those kind of comments on other people's videos there are a few people i follow um who deal with that on the regular and i feel bad um that someone would take the time to be so negative when if you don't like what the video is about or if it bothers you for whatever reason then just you know move on to the next video or don't watch it at all but don't judge you have no right to judge it's the judging i take issue with so this one is called lost and found breeze as i said i've been very lucky in that i don't deal with that on the regular but i do and it bothers you it bothers you when people leave comments like that you try for it not to bother you but if you're a human being it bothers you it irritates you because this is this person who doesn't know you judging you passing judgment um not necessary and you know if you can't say anything kind then don't say anything at all just my two cents i'll get off my soapbox sorry <laughs> love this i guess this this came up or comes up because recently a few crafters that I have follow and that I am following have posted videos talking about how they've received their first negative comment or not so kind or just downright me comment and how it just, you know, affected them and it's very discouraging and I felt bad. I felt bad that they had to go through that and all because someone just wanted to be a jerk. So, anywho, onward. <laughs> this is also part of the Lost and Found. This is the Portobello Road collection. Doesn't cost anything to be kind. And you don't know what someone's going through. And being kind to someone can absolutely make, make their day. Make their day. In a, in a good way. So, just putting that out there. This is super pretty too. My goodness. Ooh, love it. This is great. Look at that little cowboy right there. So that one is Portobello Road. Those are the five um, lost and found paper pads. I also found this really cool a spooky and sparkly Halloween paper pad by DCWV. Um, die cuts with a view. There's the information. Absolutely love, love this. So here you get 32 uh, printed sheets with silver foil. This is gorgeous. And I love the whole black, white, or black and silver theme. It's double-sided paper too. Look at those pumpkins. Silver foiled. Look at the cut aparts. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Very pretty. So that's the one side. Let's flip it over and do the other side. Really pretty. Look at the crows. Spiders. Really pretty paper. I don't have anything like this. I mean, the good news is how quickly the spirit of Halloween creeped into me. Oh, actually, you know what I just discovered? Whoa, wait a minute. This last page right here are stickers. This is a sticker sheet. Whoa, I didn't even know that. That's a sticker sheet. I was wondering why it wasn't double-sided, and then I felt it. And it's a sticker sheet. That is fantastic. Here it says, Happy Halloween. Can we get it so you can see it? Lord, I hope this doesn't blind you. <laughs> um, that's awesome. I did not know that. It doesn't say it anywhere on the front. What a pleasant surprise. Yeah, if you look closely on the back, though, it does kind of show this one off here. Um, that's a little different, but wow, what a nice surprise. Woo. 
lucky me. <laughs> Here's another one. This one is called Blue Noel. Love this. Oh, you know what? I'm a silly person. Look. Right here it says bonus sticker sheet. You see? So if you're observant and you're read, <laughs> you would have seen that. Here's Blue Noel, also by Die Cuts with a View. And look, bonus sticker sheet. So we get a bonus sticker sheet with this one. Here's the information. Good Lord. And I did have my glasses on, so that's really inexcusable. There's <laughs> the sticker sheet. Gosh, recently I had my eyes checked and, um, woof, yeah, I'm about two <laughs> clicks away from walking around wearing magnifying glasses. Um, woo, my vision has gotten progressively worse. This is really pretty. Oh my gosh, you probably hear, I would say pitter-patter, but it sounds more like elephants running across the living room upstairs. Those are my dogs. Pretty cut apart. Now let's flip to the other side. Oh my gosh, this is pretty. So as I was saying, the spirit of Halloween has creeped into my soul and I pulled out my Halloween bin. Yeah. There it sits right next to me. So as soon as I get done with my I Made It Challenge, I'm going to start my Halloween projects and transition into Christmas. So super excited about that. Here's another paper pad. This is by My Mind's Eye. It's called Hooray, which is birthday themed. I love that. Here's the information. And I don't think this is double sided. Nope, it's not. Really pretty. So, so far, I have a card I'm going to make. I'm thinking a pocket letter, maybe a couple of tags, maybe a journal or two. Maybe some ATCs. I love ATCs. And of course, some more Halloween cards to send to people. So that's hooray. Um, I have a couple of ideas thinking I, I want to host a hop, um, but I'm not going to share the details of that hop just yet. Not until I speak to, well, first I want to finalize the details of the hop in my mind and then speak to the participants or at least the channels that I would like to have participate in the hop. My plan is to keep it very small, very intimate, four, maybe five people tops um, total. Um, so something I'm working on. This paper pad here is go is by Chamel. It's go now and it's partly covered, but I do believe that says go. Can we see? Yeah, there. Go now, go. So this is travel themed. I do travel a lot with my family um, and I've been wanting, we came back, isn't that pretty? Look at that. We um, recently came back from our last vacation and I brought back a lot of ephemera, different things that I collected while I was there and I would love to make a memory book, like a smash book maybe. So I thought this would be fun for that. really pretty skipped a bunch of pages there love that so really cute sweet paper pad um thought it'd be fun to have that so that is my entire share my friends um i did actually find some diamond paintings at the two tuesday morning um in my area i'm going to do a separate video for that because i want to focus on those um kits that i found so be on the lookout for that i also share one of the finished diamond paintings in that video as well because i sat down and i did it and i filmed the process for making it so my husband's going to help me edit that 
and hopefully I'll be able to share that process with you in a separate video. But if you hung out to the end, my friends, then thank you and also congratulations to you because now you get to learn the details of a giveaway I'm going to do. So as I said in my previous video, I shared the 6x6 six six version of those lost and found paper pads. And in this video, I showed you the 12x12 12 12 versions. Um, of the lost and found paper pads. Well, while I was at the Tuesday morning, I picked up a, an, an extra, an extra, <laughs> an extra set of the um, lost and found in the six by six size. So I picked up the Ruby collection, absolutely gorgeous. I picked up the blush. I picked up the Market Street. Here's Breeze, and here's Portobello Road. And these are the six by six version of the same paper pads that I just showed you in 12 by 12 size. So um, I'm going to put these up for grabs. This is gonna be a flash giveaway. And I also picked up this sticker book. This is by American Crafts, and it's for people who do planners, but you don't necessarily have to just keep it for planners. You can use this, a lot of this, to make cards, ATCs. Um, maybe you can just pull out the planner um, pages with lists and stuff and send those off to a friend. But if you like doing planning, um, this is something that I thought you might enjoy having. Or if you just like finding new and different ways, um, kind of thinking outside of the box on how to use certain items, this will be fun to play with. So if you would like to be entered into the drawing for these five paper pads and for this um sticker collection then all you have to do is one be 18 years or older two be a subscriber to my channel um three live in the u.s um um yeah i it's paper so it's gonna be heavy so i don't i'm sorry for my international friends um but i'm gonna keep this one in the u.s because i think i can get these all in a small flat rate box and not pay an arm and a leg i can't say that if i do it um open it internationally so be a u.s resident and um leave a comment down below now um when i say u.s i always assume everybody understands that includes puerto rico but sometimes i get um i get um messages asking me if they live in Bihar. They, can they participate? Absolutely. Commonwealth, part of the United States. You're included, my friends. Definitely participate. So leave a comment down below. Um, and in that comment, just um, somehow use the word Halloween, right? Um, I started off the video by talking about Halloween and um, how I feel the spirit of Halloween creeping inside of me. So leave a comment. Tell me something about Halloween. What kind of Halloween project you would like to see me do? What's your favorite memory about Halloween? Do you like Halloween? Do you hate Halloween? Ooh, ooh, just saying hate and Halloween in the same sentence gave me chills. I hope you don't hate Halloween. Good God, please don't hate Halloween. <laughs> um... Uh, leave a comment what's your favorite Halloween candy whatever you want to talk about just make it about Halloween uh, but I really would appreciate you letting me know um, if there's a particular project or something you would like to see me see that would see me make that would be helpful so that is all my friends I'm going to try to post this video uh, today is Sunday I'm filming it Sunday so I'll try to film it early in the week and I will leave it open for one week from the date I post it and then I'm going to randomly select a winner using randomcommentpicker.org my friends please please be sure that you're subscribed um, I do check and you'll be amazed how many people um, I don't know if you know you're not subscribed or maybe you think you are but somehow it got undone but there was one video where I did a giveaway and I would say more than 50% of the people who were on um, the the list because they left a comment when I went to check 
to see if they were subscribed. They were not subscribed. So it was kind of a little mind boggling. And I thought maybe it was a glitch with YouTube. Um, but um, I just, I got to believe that they don't realize that they're not subscribed. Or maybe they don't think I'm going to check. But I do check. So please make sure you subscribe. You have to be a visible subscriber. So I can confirm um, that you are in fact um, one of my subbies. So again, U.S. international, 18 years or older, um, be a visible subbie and leave a comment down below somehow incorporating the word Halloween and I'll enter you. That simple. Thank you for watching my friends. I truly do appreciate it. I will catch you all in the next video. Until next time. Bye bye.